Welcome back to the channel. I hope you guys have had a wonderful day, as probably not as good as mine because I was off work today. Uh, but hey, it's always a great day to be off work. And the fact that today officially started my vacation until next week, all the way through Cinco de Mayo. I hope you guys have a safe week on that as well. So I have a few fun things that happened today that we're going to talk about, but we're going to be finishing up some uh, Jesse James here. Had to think of it, even though it was in my hand. Uh, so the first thing is the Mustang. I mean, there's always problems. Every single time that something happens, there's always a little issue, just slightly. So I'm buying a um, less weekend, weekend before last, we had to fix the Mustang. We dropped the trans out and we pulled everything out of it and uh, put it all back together and replaced the throw out bearing because the throw out bearing was trashed. Like it was fall it was in pieces, all the bearings were in the bell housing and everything. It was bad. Um, got it fixed, got it running right, and then we got to looking and we noticed that my clutch cable was a 90 degree bend around my uh, motor mount, which is a no bueno. So it makes it whenever you're pressing your clutch, like it binds it, so it kind of feels like it's so essentially it's stretching my clutch, or the clutch, the clutch cable. So I was driving it today, driving it around, and uh, me and Pretty Lady was going to the store and stuff, getting stuff we needed for the vacation and things and everything like that. And uh, once I was trying to shift and I would have to almost fight it to get in the gear, and I noticed that if I like pressed the clutch and then pressed it further, like as into the floor and then through the floor, I was able to open up the, uh, the gears. So essentially that means my uh, cable's been stretched. On the bright side, um, Ray has a Maximum Motorsports that he's going to uh, sell me that I'm going to purchase from him after vacation and uh, we're going to install that. And hopefully that'll solve my issue with everything. We also finally have a gasket, I've just been lazy to put it in that will hopefully fix my stuttering problem that I have whenever it gets really cold. I know it's cammed engine, it's gonna happen, but it's got to where like sometimes it'll just run, 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 and then it wouldn't, it won't even get out of its own way. Yeah, I know, ha ha, it's a Ford, it never gets out of its own way. But hey, it's a Ford, it gets out of its own way. Um, but there's easy fixes. I'm uh, just gonna buy the cable from him. He's got the complete setup. He's got the, uh, that way I'll be able to adjust it from underneath the hood instead of underneath the car. And it'll make it 20 times better. Um, on the bright side, that was kind of the bad news. The fun news was that Pretty Lady finally cleaned out her Jeep today. And it thing has probably not had a bath in years. There was so much like Sut and crud and I don't even know what all you want to say was on it, but there were spots that was darker than that blind motorsports hat. So we went up there, I was like, I told pretty lady, I was like, we're taking the Jeep on vacation. We need to go ahead and clean it up, get it ready, put everything in there, get us to cleaned up. Because we don't want to put our stuff in there on dirty stuff. And uh, she's like, okay, fine. So we had to go vacuum it out. And I was like, you know what, let's just go ahead and pressure wash it instead. And she's like, well, let me wash the bottom. And I was like, okay. Fine. It's your Jeep. I'll let you wash it, baby, if you want to. So she starts washing it, and um, she gets around whatever she's cleaning, and then she hands it to me. She's like, yeah, you can wash the top. I said, I love you, baby, but we're going to wash, wash Bessie today. Bessie is what she calls her Jeep. It's her name. It's her love life. I don't know what it is, but she loves that Jeep, even though we should probably get rid of it. But she loves it, so we'll continue to fix it as long as she wants. Uh, <laughs> So we started cleaning, I was like, this is what we're gonna do. And I showed her like the, uh, with the pressure washer, I was going back and forth and you could just see the lines that it was making as it was just cleaning the Jeep. I took a picture of the Jeep earlier and I sent it to a group chat that we have on Snapchat and they were like, oh, wow. They're like you couldn't even tell the difference. They, was, they looked like a different Jeep, it looked totally new. So she's excited. Uh, she's been packing all day, getting everything ready for whatever we're doing. And, She's been so excited and so happy and jumpy all over the place, taking care of her plants outside, the birds, making sure they're gonna be fed while we're gone. Like we're gonna be gone forever or something, but it is what it is, it's great. Um, but yeah, it's been an awesome day being off. Uh, I'm also off on Cinco de Mayo, so we may do a Cinco de Mayo video for you guys. Uh, I haven't quite decided. And the videos that are going to be happening the next few days are probably going to be pretty interesting. I'm not sure how they're going to work, how I'm going to do them, when I'm going to do them, or when they're going to be posted. But I'm going to try to still post a video every single day. Now, I may not go live on Facebook or anything like that, but you guys, I promise you, I'm still going to try to get you a video every single day if I can. Um, 
Uh, Pretty Lady says it shouldn't be too big of an issue. That way we can still get the videos out there. Um, so keep your eye out for that. It's going to happen, hopefully. And again, this is Jesse James, guys. If you haven't tried it, go try it. It's got it's kind of cheap. It's like uh, $25, I think. It's very good. It's, it comes with a band on it that has a whole storybook in it and everything else like that. It's 80 proof, 40%. It's an amazing, amazing whiskey. It tastes great. Uh, it says, always drink upstream from the herd. So that means, I don't know if you guys ever heard of don't uh, drink downstream because cows and men and everything else like that piss. So when you piss into the creek and if you drink downstream, then you're drinking... Yeah, yeah, you get it. You get it. Um, also, the Jalapeno Challenge is going to be doing a thing uh, starting probably when we get back. I'll probably make that as well. I'll choose a vodka. I haven't decided yet. Throw it in a mason jar. Slice the jalapeno just a little bit on each side. Drop it in the mason jar. Seal it up. I'll make a video about it. Uh, the process, everything else that will be on video. And then uh, we'll wait about three, four weeks, maybe a little bit longer, and then we'll do a video. I'll eat the jalapeno. Maybe one video I'll eat the jalapeno, and then the next video I'll drink the vodka, and we'll see the taste differences of each one. And the vodka that I do choose, I will make sure to do a taste test video of that vodka before I do do the mix. That way you guys are still uh, understanding what vodka I'm using and why I'm using it. I think I know which one I want to use because it's my favorite, but I quite haven't decided yet. I'm going to talk to Cody about it. He's going to be coming here in probably a few minutes. He's pulling up. But, guys... I love you to death, and thank you for watching. Thank you for coming out. You are amazing. Uh, don't forget, I'm Justin, and welcome to the channel, family. I love you to death. Don't forget to hit that subscription button. Growing to 150 subscribers it is going amazing, all because of you guys. Don't forget that like button. Smash the comments if you want to see something different. If you love it, let me know. If you like it, let me know. Hit the like button. Hit the comments. That's all that matters. And that way I can keep producing stuff that you guys enjoy. Don't forget, hit that notification button to let you know every single time that I post a video and you'll be the first one to do it. I know last night's video got posted really late. I was up doing laundry really late and I completely forgot to upload it. So I uploaded it at like 3 o'clock this morning. But guys, I love you. Have a wonderful night. Have a great evening and an even better night. And I cannot wait to see what video tomorrow brings because I, honestly, I have no clue. Cheers. Bottoms up. Y'all have a wonderful work week. If you're not working, have a safe week. Do what you want to do. Don't do anything I wouldn't do. Guys, remember, we buy so you guys don't have to. We try so you guys don't have to. Y'all have a wonderful night, and I will see you guys tomorrow.